guys and welcome to another patch from scratch now let me just start talking about envelope generators now normally we use envelope generators to control VCAs uh, so to control the sound of a of an oscillator normally but uh, normally what we tend to forget or at least I tend to forget that normally uh, with um, ADSR can also control uh, CV controls like um, LFOs um, CV modulations they can modulate other CV modulations so um, in one of my previous video I showed how I like to create uh, semi-random sequences by using by mixing together two different LFOs now today I would just like to use um, one LFO and modulate the um, the wave of the LFO with an ADSR and see what happens so just to start, let's hear the normal um, waveform that we're going to use, like a triangle wave. Uh, first, I think I'd better connect a uh, VCO. Let's use a square wave. Here it is. So this is what a non-attenuated triangle wave sounds like, right? Pretty classic. Okay, now let's try and just pass this through a an envelope generator, an ADSR. So by adjusting the four parameters, attack decay, re uh, sustain, and release, we can change and and create a complex waveform. Pretty cool. And also using a different waveform. We basically have infinite combination. So infinite kind of uh, complex waveforms. Okay, pretty easy. Now, I would like to create a sequence out of this because this is just a bit chaotic. Okay, so again, let's use our good old quantizer as usual. Here's the CV output. Hmm. Alright, this is a sequence. Now, what we can do as usual we can use another LFO, free running LFO. Nothing is uh, synced together or, re or resetted here. Nothing is resetted, nothing is synced together. Okay, let's use the square wave of this LFO to. Okay, so we were quantizing the tempo now from the quantizer. It's more, um, you can hear it's more like a squared sequence. And again, now we can go, um, we can set up our classic with another envelope generator. Sorry. What else? This is a uh, CV controllable idea. So we can play a little bit more with some more LFOs to give more randomness. Alright, in this case we have a lot of silences because uh, changing up and down the attack and release uh, we create a lot of uh, negative um, voltages so when we're in negative voltages we don't hear anything so many modulation we can adjust and, and change as I said an infinite number of different sequence combination
And this is it. That's all, folks. Have fun. Thank you. See ya.